When you're normally playing Minecraft, your cursor is invisible and constantly being reset to behind the crosshair. When you open your inventory, a chest, or any GUI, the cursor becomes visible. But if you either maximize your window or full screen, both have an identical effect here, the game doesn't update where the cursor is locked, and therefore doesn't update where the cursor will appear when you open a chest. You can take advantage of this by resizing your game window to a specific size such that when you full screen and open a chest, your cursor appears directly over an item. There are two main ways to set up intentional cursor displacement. No matter what method you use though, there are a few general things you need to know first. First, if you use standard settings, full screen must be set to false. Wherever your cursor disappears into the game window, that's generally where your cursor will stay until it reappears, meaning if you pause, open chat, tab out, anything that frees the cursor will undo whatever cursor displacement you've done. Next, you need to know how to find the window size that works for whatever item you're going to loot. This is dependent on resolution as well as GUI scale. I'm going to be using the axe in this ruined portal chest on the clock suit as an example. If you open up this chest on the resolution you normally play at, screenshot and paste it in a paint, you can find the approximate center pixel of the slot that contains the axe. On 1080p GUI scale 3 in my settings, this pixel is 798 366. Simply double these numbers to find the window size that your cursor needs to lock on to appear over the axe, 1578 by 732 in my case. Note this may be slightly off due to the title bar height, but it shouldn't be enough to matter. If you use full screen, I highly recommend using Jolty. It works with multi-instance of course, but for a single instance it's great too, with almost no setup required. All you do is go to Options, Window, Window Size, and enter the window size you found. If you have Use Borderless on, also under Window Settings, and Auto Full Screen on under Experimental, Cursor Displacement should start working immediately. If you're single instance though, you probably don't have Jolty set up already, but it's very quick since you don't have to do anything in OBS. Just download Jolty 0.18.0, link below. Make sure all your settings that I just said are good, as well as resets style must be set to multi. You can set the rest of your settings to your liking, open Minecraft, then back in Jolty, click Instance Utilities, Redetect Instance, and you're good to go. You have a different reset key, but otherwise everything should be exactly the same as regular single instance. If you use a single instance but play in windowed or full screen but you don't want to use Jolty, my recommendation is to change the windowed resolution that your game launches at. You can do this by going to MultiMC, and while the instance is closed, click the instance, then edit instance, go down to settings, and then the game windows tab, check the game window box, and change the window width and height to the values that work for you. Again, for 1080p, either full screen or windowed, at GUI scale 3, 1578 by 732 should work well. Now you can go ahead and launch the instance and click the golden boots. After loading into the world, make sure your cursor is locked when your game is in its windowed resolution, and make sure you're properly tabbed into the instance. Then you can either press your full screen to key to full screen or Windows plus up arrow to maximize the game window without tabbing out. You can do this before starting a run since neither of these things count as inputs, so they shouldn't start your timer. If your timer is starting on world load, by the way, go to speedrun IGT settings, timings, set timer start on first input. Or you can use full screen or maximize while running to your initial destination if there's a bit of distance. Next, and again, if you're using standard settings, make sure that full screen is set to false. Because when you reset, if you play full screen, you'll be automatically put into windowed mode with the correct window size. If you play in windowed, you'll have to manually restore the smaller window size each reset using Windows plus down arrow works for this. That's all you need to know to set up and use cursor displacement. If you have any questions, comment and I'll try to get back to you. I have a few more notes though. First, if Jolty isn't working for you eh, for some reason and you're sure all the settings are right, close both your game and Jolty and then reopen them. This should fix whatever problem you're having. If you're confused why this happens, I don't know the technical reason either. I just think of it as the game always assuming the upper left corner is the far upper left corner of the monitor. You may have realized that if the item is on the right side of the chest, doubling the pixel resolution would give you a window width that's greater than the width of your monitor. I've tested this and it works, but I have multiple monitors. I think it would work on a single monitor setup though. I'm not sure though. I did not invent or discover any of this at all. I originally learned about it through a SkyFiddle video around a year ago. I'm just making this tutorial now because the clock seed is a practical application for it. It was used a while ago for the SSG Obtain Golden Apple uh, category by Hanabi. Um, he actually used a slightly different method of cursor displacement where if you disable pause on less focused with F3 plus P, you can alt tap out of the game, move your cursor whatever you want, uh, then alt tap back into the game, and then when you open a chest, your cursor will appear 
wherever it was when you all tabbed into the game. This is really annoying uh, to do every run in a category where you do any extensive resetting, but it does have some unique use cases. Finally, this is a trick allowed for leaderboard speedruns. Uh, Hanabi's Obtain Golden Apple run is verified. Uh, it is a category extension board, but they share a core rule set with the main board, to my knowledge, and it's basically unheard of for rule changes to make runs slower. On top of that, it's a very accessible strat. Pretty much anyone can use it, although I don't know about Mac or Linux. Different OSs might change things. Cursor displacement mod, anybody? Also, it's a fraction of a second time save, so it's not really a big deal either way.